Welcome friends, in this video we will be talking about the tissue culture laboratory and the important measurements in the tissue culture laboratory which are important to go into the detail about the tissue culture. Laboratory of tissue culture consists of four main sections. They are washing rooms, media preparation rooms, culture room and the transfer room. Okay. Now we will be looking at each of these different rooms and look for the cultures and look for what, what is actually going on in these all rooms. Let us first talk about the washing room. It is to be cleaned all bowels used in the tissue culture. There can be seen locations in the washing room allocated to keep acid species, osmotic waste taps, acidic resistant uh, basins and pressure cookers and bowels which is needed for this tissue culture. Now we will be looking at the media preparation room. It is all preparations of culture media required for the tissue culture are being done here. There should be all the things needed such as chemical stores, freezers, chemical balances, pressure cookers, pH meters and needed glasswares and so on in this room. Now we will be looking at the composition of the culture media. They are made up with inorganic in nutrients, then uh, it can supply the carbon and energy source, then also organic materials and also you need vegetative regulator and you must have the gel medium to solidify the liquid medium. And then we must have reached the pH of our desired, for that we must have the pH checking region to determine that. First is the inorganic nutrients like minerals, macro and micro elements which will help the tree to grow. Second one is the carbon and energy source. This is the most important. Sucrose and glucose used as the carbon and energy source which give the energy to the plant cell to do the photosynthesis and produce the suitable energy for the growth. Then the organic materials are consist of multivitamins and amino acids. Now these multivitamins catalysts need for the various metabolic activities and amino acids stimulate their growth. Then the vegetative regulator like hormones like auxin which helps in elongation of stem, growth of internodes and apical dominance of the root. Cytokinin is needed for the callus development of that same plant. Then we are having the gel or solidifying media which is like the generally polysaccharide which is given in the culture media to make the media highly dense and thus it convert the media into the solid state which is needed for the support of the plant which we implant in this medium. Then we finally have the pH level which is reached right after addition of all these nutrients. If the pH level is not maintained or is not reached then you must have add all this acid and bases to regulate the pH which is really important. Now let us talk about the culture room. We have seen the media preparation now we will be looking at the culture room. Now here it is the culture room. Now culture room is consistent of all these conditions uh, which are which is supplying the growth of the plant. Now culture room currently used for the development of medium. Now the development medium like this B B5 media and N6 media can be there. B5 media help to growth of the cell and as well as the callus culture. On the other hand N6 media help in the culturing anther and also the culture of other type of tissue than the cereal plants. Now these are the measurements. In the macro feeding we are having all these things. Micro feeding we are having all these type of measurements. Carbon and energy source most of the times are sucrose. Now cleaning of the parts are really really important because uh, cleaning must be done very carefully otherwise there will be a high chance of contamination. For this cleaning measurement we must have a clear cut area and very very clean area for doing all these things. 
Now these are the composition of uh, the contents which help to clean our parts like this benzalkomium chloride, bromine water, ethyl alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, mercury chloride, silver nitrate, sodium hypochlorite and all the solutions in these desired amounts and the desired time event which help to sterile all the region of the plant free from other microorganisms. Then finally we will look at the transfer room and how it is done. In the transfer room we are having laminar air flow cabinet which is really really important. Continuously air in the cabinet is exhausted through the filter. We will be seeing it later. So if we zoom into the structure of this air flow we can find the continuous flow of uh, the air through this cabinet and there are filters which is fixed in the wall of the cabinet by air pump installed backside of the cabinet. Due to this continuous air it is avoided entrance of the germs from the outside of the cabinet. All equipment required for placement of tissue parts of tissue culture media should be boiled in the pressure bath or it is to be cleaned in the cabinet bowels with the 95% saturated ethyl alcohol. Okay. Now one thing I must tell you very carefully is that we must go through this process like washing room, media preparation, then transfer room, then the culture room. But uh, also we have gone through washing, media, culture, then transfer. That's also fine because after the culture of or cultivation of these plants, uh, we must transfer the plants from this liquid medium or from this uh, solidified media into the soil because this re-implantation is really really important otherwise this otherwise the plant if we develop a plant in this tissue culture process but the plant cannot grow in the soil it will be a wastage of time wastage of money and all these things so we must produce a plant which must grow in the soil so that's why the whole process is rechecked when we place them in the soil under the controlled environment of the greenhouse. 